Hello guys, welcome to my channel, the e Collector, and for today's video, I'm gonna review the Marvel Legends Target Exclusive Tina. Just to give a brief background about the character, obviously Tina is an Eternal, and she has the ability to conjure any weapon she can think of using her uh, cosmic energies. Uh, honestly speaking, I'm just glad that. I finally have an Angelina Jolie figure. I really love what they did on the head scalp and she probably is the best action et Eternals action figure on the whole Eternals line. So without further ado, let's proceed. Let's take a closer look at Tina. First let's move on the head scalp. As you can see, Hasbro really did a great job on capturing Angelina Jolie's face, especially at this angle. There are also a lot of details in scalp on her hair. There are also some black wash on her hair. Her tiara is sculpted and painted very well. Now let's proceed on her suit. As you can see, she also has a unique uh, design on her chest, chest part like the other Eternals. And also, I think this this uh, figure has has the most accurate design based on the movie just look at the shoulder pads they are all sculpted very well Let's see I just wish that they used a little bit of gold for this figure but this is pretty much a solid figure also i would like to point out that her loincloth can be removed it's not glued so if you wanted to use this body for customization you can easily remove this part so far my figure doesn't have any qc issues or defects Tina came with a lot of accessories since she is a Target exclusive. She came with the two pairs of hands, a pair of weapon holding hands as you can see on the figure. Focus. Uh, I'm glad that they painted her gloves as you can see. She also came with a pair of open hands that is also painted very well. Now, for the weapons, Tina has a small cosmic dagger. As you can see, it was painted gold, but I think the color is not movie accurate i think it's impossible to replicate the actual look of her weapons based on her the movies she also came with a large i think it's a sword broad sword as you can see there's a details lines on it as i've said the design for these weapons are not accurate based on the movie she also came with this katana like weapon that are also painted with gold and has some details uh, solid lines on 
Line scout. Ah, let me focus on it. Come on. Okay, let's just move on. She also came with the staff. As you can see. It, uh, this staff reminded me of the weapon, the uh, Black Space Ranger that similar weapon he had the lunar stuff I think I would also like to uh, point out that I have a minor problem with her holding hands maybe because her grip is too how can how can I say this I mean she's she will have a hard time holding the weapon as you can see she can fully grasp the she can fully hold the weapons handle because her hands are too small especially at this part I think I you use a hair blower to open up her hands a little bit as you can see it may easily fall up when you're posing this figure I just wish that they made the weapon handle a little bit thinner for Tina's hand as you can see it's a little bit loose especially if you're using the stuff you can just post it like this but it's falling up moving on with Tina's articulation you can rotate her head 360 degrees but her head will pop up because of her hair sculpt she can't she can't look up and she can only look down that far her arms can reach to that point and you can rotate it 360 degrees she has a single jointed elbow with the painless tech her wrist can rotate 360 degrees that can move up and down her torso can rotate 360 degrees she, she, she can look up that far and look down that far she doesn't have any hip articulation she can do this split she can kick up kick up that far and kick back that far she has a tie cut a double jointed knee and I think it's a little bit weird I don't know the design is a little bit weird for this one and she has an ankle pivot that can also move up that far and move down that far Tina is standing around 6.3 inches tall here is Tina with the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Rogue here is Tina with the Marvel Legends build a figure Gilgamesh here is Tina side by side with the DC McFarlane Wonder Woman and finally here is Tina with the Marvel Select Black Widow to conclude this video Tina is an excellent figure this is a must have if you're a if you're into collecting MCU figures the face sculpt is great the armor is great 
and there she has a lot of accessories even though it's not accurate at least we have we have her weapons since that's Tina's main powers the only problem that I have with this figure actually is just a very very minor problem is her holding hands uh, weapon holding hands that are very small so if you're posing if you're posing her with her weapons make sure to use the the weapon that has the thinnest handle so that her hands may not get too loose to hold any other weapon i hope hasbro maintain the quality of the exclusive figures i hope that they keep the quality especially on the face cut but i think they failed it on though they failed it on ajak as you may see on some hikes interview she didn't like the head skull that hasbro made and that's all guys uh thank you for watching please like and subscribe and have a good day